Good day and welcome. I'm Colonel Brennan Cook. I'm here with Chief Warrant Officer Dan Campbell. We're the command team at 14 Wing Greenwood, and we're making this presentation from the 14 Wing Greenwood Aviation Museum. The Canadian Armed Forces recognizes the importance of schools in educating Canada's next generations of leaders in the significance of Remembrance Day. This year poses particular challenges, and we hope this video will help support schools in commemorating Remembrance Day. This presentation will show some of the history of Remembrance Day. It'll speak to some of the monuments that commemorate it, and it'll talk to the importance of taking a small amount of time out of your day to recognize the sacrifices of our veterans, whether they are still serving in uniform, whether they're enjoying their retirement, or passed away. If there's one message you can take from this that sticks with you, I hope it is to take that time to have that act of remembrance, that pittance of time to remember our veterans on Remembrance Day. The men and women that came before me, who were average Canadians, answered at times an extraordinary call and how it's their moment to, to honour those sacrifices that have been made in the past. Remembrance Day in Canada on the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour is a time of reflection. But things are changing. Past memories of events, battles and sacrifices from the First and Second World Wars and the Korean War are fading. This year, many of us will be unable to physically attend Cenotaph ceremonies. Operation The Pittance of Time is a heartfelt attempt to help Canadians reflect and rededicate time to honour vets and others. So the goal of Operation A Pittance of Time is to have people, for those people who are unable to make it to a cenotaph, uh, for people who, because of work, because of uh, obligations, aren't able to, to take two minutes maybe, we're asking Canadians to take 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or take a minute, you know. They fought and some died for their homeland. They fought and some died, now it's our land. This Remembrance Day, as we acknowledge the courage and sacrifice of our men and women in uniform, let's also grant them a moment of quiet reflection, a pittance of time. Take a pittance of time. Um, for us here at 12 Wing, Remem Remembrance Day this year will have uh, a different flavor with the loss of Stalker 2-2. Uh, and me personally, uh, being uh, having been present uh, during the crash and remembering my six friends that I lost uh, during that uh, tragic incident, uh, this is also the time we stop and remember not just them, but also their families, uh, their kids who will grow up without a dad or without an aunt, uh, without a brother or sister. So. This is the day to stop what you're doing in your really busy tempo life and just remember them.
In Flanders Field, a poem by John McQuay. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard, I mean, the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt down, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders field. Take up our quarrel with the floor, to you from Fellingen we throw the torch, be used to all the die. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. Our puppies go in Flanders field. We hope that this presentation was informative and helpful in allowing you to commemorate Remembrance Day this year. While Remembrance Day comes with a lot of historical significance, just remember that there are veterans all around us. Many are still serving and are in uniform today. Some are veterans of Afghanistan. Others are from conflicts in the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. Veterans can be your parents, your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles, or simply family friends. So this year and every year, take a pittance of time and remember their sacrifices.